Welcome to the Pulse FC video series. In this video, we will review the components that come with Pulse FC and their setup. Pulse FC comes with the following components. A software setup guide with activation key, a flash drive loaded with the Pulse FC software, a Pulse FC card programmer, and fluid cards. To install the Pulse FC software, insert the flash drive into a USB port on your computer and click on the pulsefcinstaller.exe. A Select Setup Language pop-up box appears. Use the down arrow to open the drop-down and select the language you want, and then click OK. The Select Destination Location pop-up box appears. It's important to install the Pulse FC application in a folder location that's accessible to all users, or to run the application as a single user. Type in or browse for the location you want and click Next. The Select Additional Tasks pop-up box appears. Note, Pulse FC requires the following services in order to run. SQL Server Local DB .NET Framework 4.7.1 to install these prerequisites alongside Pulse FC software, make sure the prerequisite checkboxes are selected on the additional tasks screen of the installer. You will also have the option to create a desktop shortcut icon. Note, prerequisites only need to be installed on the user's PC once. If the application does not detect an install of SQL Server Local DB on application startup, the user will be prompted to run the SQL Server Local DB installer. Then hit Next and Install. If SQL has not already been installed, the SQL Installation Wizard pop-up will appear. Click Next. Accept the terms in the SQL license agreement by clicking the associated radio button and then click Next again and Install. When the SQL installation is complete, click Finish. The Completing the Pulse FC Setup Wizard pop-up appears. Click Finish. Once the software installation is finished, you can remove the software flash drive. Before launching the application, make sure to plug the Pulse FC card programmer into a USB drive on your computer. A red light on the programmer indicates it is ready. Upon opening the software for the first time, the end user license agreement pop-up appears. Read the agreement, then click on the link for the Pulse FC privacy policy. After reviewing the privacy policy, Select the I have read and agree checkbox and click I agree. The next pop-up to appear is the register screen. Fill in the registration information, then click Next. The activation pop-up screen appears. Enter your activation key from the back of the software setup guide in the four boxes provided, then click Activate. The system settings screen first appears during the software installation process but it is also available anytime you want to access it by clicking on Settings, then System. The System Settings pop-up will appear and allows you to select a language, date and time format, default units of measure. Note, you will be able to set language and units of measure on a meter-by-meter -meter basis. You can also choose to run application on System Startup and disable Smart Card Plug and Play. Lastly, you can choose whether or not to receive system reminders to totalize actual dispensed values. See the video on Fluid Total Cards for more information. Then click Save. Once the System Settings screen closes, you'll see the Create Pulse FC Disable Card pop-up screen. It's important to note that meters set to Pulse FC mode can only be used with the PC that created the profile cards. Once set, a disabled Pulse FC card is required to return the meter to preset mode or move the meter to another Pulse FC system. You should create a disabled Pulse FC card and keep it somewhere safe for future use. To create, place a blank fluid card in the Pulse FC programmer and click Create Pulse FC Disable Card, then click Next. The next pop-up screen is used to create a new fluid. Type the name of a fluid you wish to add in the Fluid Name box. 
Then click Add Fluid to enter it to the fluid list. Click Next. Create Meter Profile pop-up screen appears. First, place a blank fluid card on the Pulse FC programmer. Choose the specific type of fluid the meter will dispense, then choose units in pints, quarts, gallons, or liters, a desired language, how long the meter will stay awake, and whether you want the meter to lock out after an unauthorized dispense. When finished, click Create Profile Card. You will see a message at the bottom of the screen stating Profile Card Successfully Created. Next, wake the meter by pushing the Enter button on the meter keypad. In preset mode, the NFC icon only displays when a meter is reset. Reset the meter through the Preset Meter Utility menu. After resetting, the NFC icon will appear. When the NFC icon appears, hold the fluid card to the meter. The word Configuring appears momentarily and the meter profile is now set. Back at the software, click Next. This same meter profile card can now be used at all the Pulse FC meters in a shop that are meant to dispense the same fluid. For more information on Pulse FC, please go to graco.com and Graco University.